What are you guys doing with that extra two hours a day? Are you using? Did he say sleep? <laughs> yes, dude. I was about to say, are you using it wisely? But yeah, I get my full six hours of sleep, and I wake up an hour early. Every you month. do not get six. So how many hours of sleep is he? He, he goes eight? to bed at two, probably sleeps until seven fifty. Then he goes on break, but his break is from eight to one, anyways, because he's just messing around the whole morning, not doing anything. My, my mornings are productive. <laughs> it's more no, they're not. <laughs> how many hours of sleep is he at bedtime? I don't know how many hours, but I can vouch that he does not read a book for sure. <laughs> does not read a book. No, he's like. Yeah, and he slept till seven fifty this morning. He had his lunch at six thirty. He woke me up, and I'm downstairs. <laughs> All right, we got another episode of Strip Mall Paycheck Fridays podcast. So, kind of a long title, kind of a uh, little bit of word salad, but I got it. I was inspired from the TikTok haters. I was inspired from the TikTok community because everybody kept calling our office a strip mall. You guys have seen those comments, right? Mm -hmm. You guys work in a strip mall. You're the wolf of Walmart. Right? What's, What's your guys' favorite? Wolf of Walmart. Yeah. Wolf of Walmart. Wolf of Walmart. That's what our buddies call us, yeah. They call you guys Wolf of Walmarts. Yeah. Oh my god. What do they call you? No, nah, nothing. Dude, there's fake profiles going around. Yeah, they do do that. Yeah. They got you. They got you. All right, so let's open up with income. <clears throat> um, let's start with least to greatest. Who made the least in here this week? Probably me. What'd you make? It was like 2800 2800 for the week? Yeah. Dang, do we let you on here? <laughs> <laughs> Who was next? Jason made more than me actually. Blake, what'd you make? I made like four thousand seven hundred and like seventy bucks for the week. Yes. And then, Jason, what'd you make? I made like forty six eighty, I think. Forty six eighty for the week. Yeah. And then so yours was more than his then. No, I, I thought Jason made more. Than his. <laughs> He's not the brightest. No. All right. So, what'd you make, Justin? Uh, Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand dollars for the week. So yeah. everybody on pace to make over six figures for the year. You've made well over six figures for the year. In the month. In the month, right? So what do you think you'll make this year? Four to five. <clears throat> Four to 500,000. What do you think you'll make this year? I'm going for 200,000. 200,000? 120, 150. Jason, you just started. Hope. I'm going for a slight hundo. Slight hundo. <laughs> Let's go. He's going to have to bang it out, dude. Let's go. Sure. Recognition. Let's go from kind of least to greatest for recognition. We had top essay... Right? Yeah, like 13,560. Were you number one? No, three. Number three. Who'd you lose? Let's look at who he lost to, dude. We got to go over that. Are you going to lose again? Definitely not. He doesn't so, care. He's going to go sleep. Oh, God. He's going to go sleep? Day. He's going to go sleep over there. Okay, top essay. You lost to Chris Jones, my oh, personal God. recruit. He was number two, 15,644. Shout out, Chris. Though. And number one was Brian Calaruso out of Tampa, Cozy, 21,845. What do you got to say about this, bro? These two cats stomped you this week. Yeah, Chris Jones definitely had a big week, but I would say um, it's not going to happen again. Uh, this week, my personal production is <laughs> already at, like, five, and team's probably around seven. What, um, what about the boys in Tampa, though? They did 21,000. You're, you're going to – let's say he does another 20,000 this week. You got 20,000 in the tank, dude? I got to make Miami, so I have to one way or another. Ooh, so what do you got to say, dude? Like, what if this dude was in here right now and said, listen, I'm going to beat you again, and I'm going to take your lunch money, and I'm going to take your mom to lunch? Probably say something along the lines of that. You would just repeat what he would say? Like, <laughs> what? Like, this is, this is, <laughs> oh, I thought you said <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, no, he that says that to you <laughs> and said, let's settle this old-fashioned. Let's settle this with ALP. Sales. ALP? Well... I'm going to get more ALP than them. It's, it's wow. Simple. Ask him what he's at for the month. That's ask what, him, yeah. what are you at for the month, dude? Yeah. Personal? No, I would say that's, yeah, that's what you should him. ask that dude. Oh, like personal. I mean, yeah. Oh, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him yeah. what he's at for the month. All right, let's go into GAs. <laughs> Zayda Wawi was 16990 He's charging his uh, Tesla right now. <laughs> he's charging his Tesla. That's what you texted me, didn't you? Or that was last night. Was that this morning or last night? Yeah, but not during the meeting. That was last night? Uh, I thought, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't really keep track of time. Work too much. So, um, <laughs> number two, Blake Bretsky, 22,514. But you lost to number one, Kevin Swiatek, who works half days. 28,773, bro. 
You work kind of full days. Would you say Blake works full days? Yeah, like a three quarter day. You work three quarter days and he works half days. And he put eight thousand on Honestly, your chest, dude. It probably is about a half day for him because half the day he's out there tiptoeing around, just talking <laughs> yeah, to people, bro, <laughs> bouncing around, coming over, asking me if we sell life insurance still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, we didn't change the product. <laughs> All right, so what do you got to say about that, bro? You lost. Yeah, it was number two. <laughs> yeah, but like, are you going to be number two again this week? Are you going to be number one? Uh, no, I would hope not. Next week, obviously. No, we're in this week. <laughs> this week. What, like, the week that we're currently in. Are Who are you going to beat? To? Are you going to be number one? Are you going to beat Kevin? I'm going to beat Kevin. I'm going to beat Alec Knoxman. I'm going to beat Clayton Friday. <laughs> Clayton Friday's at 90000 for the month. <laughs> I'm he's at like 70 bigger. something. Oh, he's going to be like 80. Yeah, yeah he's at like oh, 80. Oh, dude. We're going to catch up to him. Okay. Are you going to get face tats like Clayton? Yeah, right here. Let's go, <laughs> bro. Right. Let's go. What about Zade? Zade's not catching it. The worst time for him this month. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he is not going to be happy when he sees that. <laughs> just, just check ICM, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's move on. Justin Masca. Number three MGA was Spencer Coze. You stomped him by 10 grand. <laughs> Number two was Big Bo Joe. Joey Crivelli, 67,037. I don't know what happened there, Joey. Better get to work. Number one. Oh, my bad, dude. I'm sorry about <laughs> It's kind of a weak shoulder. He's like, he's like my shoulder. <laughs> Number one was Justin Masca, beating Joey by 300 AOP, which is basically now your son. Joey, make sure you don't call Justin anything other than senior daddy. So anytime you talk to my boy Justin, change his contact name to senior daddy, address him as senior daddy, make sure you kiss his hand and say thank you for your knowledge, senior daddy, because he beat you this week, and he said he's going to beat you this month, and he's going to crush you and take your family. <laughs> 67,373 ALP, Justin Mask, top MGA for the week. What do you got to say about that, dog? About being, like, number one? Yeah, about oh, crushing yeah. everybody. Yeah, I don't really know, honestly. Just kind of just showing up here. Just showing up, doing what? What's going into this, dude? How are you doing 60? So for, for those of you that are watching this and have no idea probably about what we're talking about, we're talking about sales, revenue, weekly. We sell life insurance. We run a life insurance company out here in Chicago. And we're talking about our competitors. And this is friendly. You know what I mean? We're talking about the, the individuals within our own organization that we compete against. This is all love. If you guys are watching this, please don't take this personal. If you do, email my partner, a Nelson at AreasAgencies.com. That's my sister. Email her everything. Dude, she's going to get blown up by the TikTok haters. Yeah. When's the last time you checked an email? I just think about it every day. That's where all the bills go. That's Quality exactly. Goes. It's a, my all, everything was repossessed yesterday, so that explains a lot. Might want to edit out that email. <laughs> no, but here I'll put her phone number out there too. Uh, <laughs> actually, somebody commented. I don't know if you saw it on my Instagram. It was like one of my TikTok haters came over my Instagram and was like, "I'm gonna come work. I'm gonna come work there just to see your fine sister." Nobody said that. You want me to pull the comment up? They do say stuff like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> see, buddy boy knows. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. At least they're not making fake pages of you. So. Oh, it's coming. Let's see here. I'm going to find it right now. You didn't delete it, dude? <laughs> no, dude. I need the engagement. What's that one say? Going to come work with you so I can look at your fine sister. Why would you say that, shit? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> what? What? What's wrong with him? Me read the comment. <laughs> See it, shit? What? what is wrong with you, dude? Sorry, read it, read it, read it. You got to go DM him, dude. Let him know that that's, <laughs> that's not what time it is around here. <laughs> I mean, what, what does he look like? Let me see him. <laughs> he's one of those people that doesn't. It's like it's he's a, got a no private profile. Pro, yeah. private. private profile, dude. He's got he ninety followers and he's following two hundred thirty people. And his uh, bio says, "All good in my cyberhood." Bro, bro's a loser. It's and he, he has like a picture of G Herbo as his as his profile picture. G Herbo's ass. I love G Herbo, but Tristan thinks yeah, he's I ass like too. G Herbo. No, I, I like G Herbo. So he, I mean, I would respect him for that. But um, <laughs> other than that, no, don't respect him at all. Justin Mast is crushing everybody. Who are you going for next? Now that you're pretty much the top dog you know, out of everybody, now there's some people you got to start working up the list with. You got the partners. What is uh, what is Joey at for the month? Year to date? Just not nah, for the month. 
280, I think. So you got to crush him. We're at 224 plus this week. We'll be we'll be at, we'll end at 300. You think he's gonna end above 300 for sure? Ah, yeah, Probably. he's, he's going to hit 320, 330. Yeah, he's going to hit 300 for sure. He's reporting 60 so far this week. So I'd say worst case, I think he'll probably net 340. For so the I month. need a 100K week then, yeah, basically. Yeah, you need a 100K week yeah. for sure. Um, partners, though, people for you to start looking at would be, let's see Costa, here. you're already destroying Costa. Yeah, you're beating him. And then the next one you want to start looking at would be Burnsdorf's going to do 400,000 plus this month. 400? So that's who I'd start going after next is just beating uh, little Marky Mark. He's been my son forever. Love you, Mark. He's been my son for a long time, dude. Long time. Since you were this little, dude. Uh, you've been crushing Marky for a while. And um, I'm sorry, I'm talking about me right now. But you got to crush Mark. And it's going to start with hires, codes, and just uh, – I feel like we have a culture. Him. Yeah, no, but and I'll code them. Th but they got a they got a tight culture with keepers. They got a what I know what Mark does. Mark, what you do really well is I know your promotion standards are crazy. Like you can't be an essay there if you don't like say a prayer three times a day and do twenty thousand AOP in a month. Like it's 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 like they they got great promotion standards. Like so, with an up the standards. Yeah, well, so I think I think just holding people to the standards that we have in place right now and like no negotiation. Like if you're gonna be an essay. Five thousand dollars in production, bare minimum. Like there's mm -hmm. no negotiation. Five thousand and a code. So I know theirs is I think ten thousand. So we'll we'll get there. But uh I would say that's probably one of the things that I admire about Mark is he's very strict about his culture, his systems. Overall great dude. Again, we're just we're just we're just making content, guys. Please, any personal complaints, send it to my sister. Um dope, dope, dope. Yeah, let's let's focus on Mark. So that's who you got next. Let's go back into the Monthly producers. Did we hit the top three monthly producers? Kevin, number one, <coughs> beating you guys. Ryan Butcher, number two, beating you guys. And number three, Jack Bentech, 21,064. He should make AK Club, do all that. We're going to have a dope dinner. We're going to get Jordans for you guys that did over 23,000. That's going to be awesome. I think everyone should do 23,000 personal in a month once in their career. At least say, like, I know how to sell insurance. Like, dude, please, at least once be, be able to say, I know how to sell insurance. Um, Kamar Thompson, number one year to date. Shout out Big Kemi. Shout out Jamaica, $92,775 um, dollars of production for the year to date, bro. Love to see you make President's Club. You're close. You got the skills. You got the leads. You got the work ethic. Nobody could really probably has a better shot than you do. So, Kevin, you're number two, 80696 Number three, John Rings, 72639 Let's go, John Rings. You got to pick it up. Kevin, you got to pick it up. Double up. You guys gonna get anybody in the top three year to date production? Yes. I'm gonna catch up. Not you. I don't know why you saying yes like that. I'm gonna catch up. First. <laughs> you stop calling after your first week. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> How many calls did he make yesterday? Fifty. No, no. Pull up the. Let's see. It. My phone's dead. Oh. <laughs> His phone's dead. What a quinky dink. Um, cars. You guys got the new. How's the new place going? You guys like the new place? Yeah. How amazing is it that you guys don't have an hour drive home and an hour drive here? What are you guys doing with that extra two hours a day? Are you using? Did he say sleep? <laughs> yes. Dude, I was about to say, are you using it wisely? But yeah, I get my full six hours of sleep, and I wake up an hour early. You up. do not get six. six. How many hours of sleep is he? He, he goes to bed at two, probably sleeps until seven fifty. Then he goes on break, but his break is from eight to one, anyways, because he's just messing around the whole morning, not doing anything. My, my mornings are productive. It's more no, they're not. <laughs> how many hours of sleep is he getting, Bentec? I don't know how many hours, but I can vouch that he does not read a book for sure. <laughs> does not read a book. No, he's like, he, he and he slept till seven fifty this morning as well. He had his lunch at six thirty. He woke me up, and I'm downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go Last dude. night, Blake fell asleep. Bro, with his, the with his whole point of moving mouth. closer is <laughs> when you live as close as possible to your workplace or your place of productivity, profitability, and you minimize and eliminate the distractions, you maximize <coughs> the results. But once that compounds over time, it's impossible for your competitors to catch you. Like, it's impossible for competitors to catch me because of the simple fact that I am my office. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I'm always here, how are you going to beat me? You know what I mean? You got to spend a half hour every day getting ready, a half hour getting to your office, a half hour going back, a half hour... You know what I mean? Decluttering, cooking, cleaning, and all that. It's like when I've eliminated, people think I'm disciplined. I'm just so psychotically lazy that I've created a life where all I'm allowed to do is work. 
kind of. So, dude, if you guys are using this time wisely, you're gonna make way more money. You're gonna be way, way more productive, way more profitable. What they said is the truth. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Jason said, dude. No. <laughs> yes. What's up with the cars, dude? I actually put a deposit down on one yesterday. So Justin, is this true? Yeah, he did, but he's slow. He's not gonna get the car. What? Are they just gonna get it back? Yeah. I'm Hopefully. Gonna, I need my deposit back. But. Why aren't you getting the car? They want 12000 down. What kind of car is it? AMG. It's a 2015. It's a 2020. <laughs> 2020. C63? It's a C43 sedan AMG. Then I realized, dumb. Might just save up like 10 more. Yeah, days. don't get a C43. Get a C63. I've been telling yeah. him to get the C63. C63. He doesn't, he doesn't listen. What about you, Pentec? Uh, I think I was going to follow Mask's footsteps with a C8 and just save up a little bit more. Because yeah, it'd be do way that. more worth it. Do and that. Also, I mean... If I wanted some faster C7 because it's like 20 less, but I think it'd just be worth it. C7's faster? No, well, like, it's no, like no, more no, it's not faster. Yeah. It's like 20 grand cheap, not 20 grand cheaper, like 15 grand cheaper, and I can get it faster. Is there like a C9 or something? Not I yet. Think so. I think he should just get the uh, C7, like a 2019. No, something faster. Motivate him to want to do more. Yeah. Save, so, what it would take to get to C8, save up an extra 10 grand and get something even better. That's what I think. Got to motivate him. Well, if I had to put 20 down on the C8 with a 730 credit score. You should have just got a Lambo. Uh, yeah. I'll just kill Let's go over to him. Talk about when are you getting your car souped up? When it, Like, is there a date for the yeah, wrap? Yeah, it's Monday. The I'm not going to have it all next week, yeah. Dang, dude, you're really excited <laughs> about going home every day at 8. Me? No, I'm not. I'm here every day from 5 a.m. until 5 a.m. the next day. I'm just getting a wrap because it like <laughs> be hard. I'm always here. I need new wheels. New wheels. Did you order the wheels? No, not yet. Are you gonna get? Do you know? Where I gotta you're gonna wrap get it from? first. Yeah, uh, Brody's bro. Brody's Brody's brother. Chad. Yeah. Shout out Wheel Connection. Chad, let's go. So you're gonna get the wheels from Brody's brother. Where's the wrap? Cause I I wanna I wanna maybe wrap. You uh, know you've been there. Ghost. My phone case. Ghost. Oh, you're gonna do Ghost Industries? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Shout yeah. out Ghost Industries. Yeah, you already paid him. You already paid him. Yeah. Oh God. Maybe you could pay for mine. I got to quote. No, he, yours is like seven grand, dude. Eight grand. Eight grand. Ten. Yeah. But he said because it's a custom wrap, it'll probably be like ten because you want the Darth Maul. Yeah. Just do like Young Dolph camo or something. No, dude. no, I'm doing Darth Maul for everything from now on. But it's all good. I just like seeing you guys make money and win. I'm good. I've made a lot of money. My sister makes me turkey sausage burritos. So <laughs> do not wrap. Do your you truck, like the turkey dude. sausage? Yeah, I like turkey sausage. Why? Why'd you get real quiet? Start whispering and shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you want me to be loud? <laughs> it's all good. What am, what am I being yelling for? I like sausage. I like the regular pork we sausage know you like and sausage, bacon. Dude. Good. This is what I think your meal prep should be. I think you should have six to eight pieces of bacon and rice, a cup of rice for every meal. I think it's healthy. I don't think you can go wrong with that. And then your second meal is that footlong sausage you eat every day? Is that what you're saying about kielbasa? my sister's cooking? No, you eat the kielbasa? She cooks for me. But you eat it. I don't get cookies every night like you do. Okay. Maybe that's right. why you're sleeping in. I was at the gym this morning. It was, uh, it was good. Uh, right. <laughs> How was it for you? Phenomenal. I've never missed. You did miss that one day, that one Wednesday. 14 years old. About two weeks ago. I've never missed I a asked gym. you where you're at. And you jiu there. You weren't at jujitsu. Did we not do yoga? You might have done yoga. But I've always done it. It was probably because you did yoga. Yeah. I will admit. Aside from me basically being perfect, I'm not, okay? <laughs> so, yes, there are some days that I don't wake up at 2.36 a.m. and do 14,000 push-ups. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay? I know it's hard when you guys look to me as King Lion and you want me to be this perfect individual, but some days I skip the 14,000 push-ups and I Listen, do 13,000. If my schedule was to wake up at 6 and then Bro. sleep... And then sleep from one to nine, Dog. wake up again, walk around, scratch my belly, and then go back to bed. I'd be that waking up. That wasn't always my schedule. For the past four years. Yes, but for the first two years, and not, let me correct that, yes. <laughs> I'm not agreeing to what he's saying. For the first two years, I was up. Same schedule I'm running now. And it was even worse because I wouldn't get home till midnight or one, and I would get up at 5 a.m., four hours of sleep for two years. I probably developed a mental disability. Like people, I, you'll always hear like, man, like we twitch when we sleep. You, you guys might twitch. I have tremors. I shake, <laughs> dog. I like, 
you'll know when I'm about to start falling asleep. I start like break dancing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like something happened with me going an extended period of time with minimal sleep. How many times have you guys wrecked a car? None? Once? 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 Never. Never. Five times. <laughs> now, do you want to know how? Yes. All of them were asleep. <laughs> how do you fall asleep behind the wheel? Too many bologna sandwiches. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not that. Tired. You think you're working hard. You're not. None of you. None of you work hard. <laughs> Just me. How come Rob said that he always drove and you slept? He drove one time, <laughs> dude. That's like his number one story. He tells everybody. He loves that story. That, that he drove What's everywhere he and now? he slept. What is his schedule <laughs> now? Nothing. He does nothing. What's his schedule? What's his schedule? It's, it's the best schedule, apparently. Listen. Just... Look at all these books I've read. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all read. How many books have you read? No. <laughs> in his life, three years. Like, <laughs> what books has he read? What books? <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Captain Underpants, <laughs> Green, and Green, Green Exit Exit Am. <laughs> Okay, all right. What's your favorite book? The Leadership Code. Have you, Dustin gave me that the Leadership book. Code from who? Brent Costa wrote that shit. Yeah, I have Brent Costa's book from Rob. <laughs> yeah, it's it's 130 it. pages. It's a, it's a solid book. And the words are this big. <laughs> what, what was your favorite piece? <laughs> he didn't fucking. He didn't read it. Read it. <laughs> what's your favorite book, Pentec? I'm actually reading that one right there right now. The the book, the master book of manipulation? The power book. Yeah, it's the darkest demon book in the world, dude. I mean, I just was told to get it. So I mean, I Who told you to get it? Uh, the Not internet, me. The internet. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. He started with the most <laughs> demonic book. How to manipulate your leader. Pretend that you're listening, <laughs> smile in his face, and then do the exact opposite to see what he does in response. And then sleep it, more. It wasn't what I was expecting, though. It's like a ton of like older stories kind of of like, Leaders from the past. Yeah, how to manipulate your leaders. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely getting one over on you. What about you, Jason? What are, what's your favorite book? <laughs> Podcast is over. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I remember that book. We read that shit in middle school. June B. Jones? Judy B. Jones, dude. What's that about? I want to say it's about an African-American girl that has a bad hair day. Like it, it is. It's an actual required piece of literature in, in like a typical educational system. Not Colorado. <laughs> okay, we know. Not Colorado. <laughs> no black people. <laughs> <laughs> we know, dude. We were reading uh, where the red fern grows and stuff. Yeah, you probably were. You were reading like Colonel Sanders and like how to join the Confederate. You no, know, <laughs> what's up? What's that book about the like the kid with the hound dogs and the mountain lion attacks and kills one of the dogs? What's that book called? We had to read one of those. Why are you looking? Because yeah, you're from Indiana, I figure it'd be like yeah, a... they didn't. The books we read in Indiana were. I liked. <laughs> if we're talking about like kid books, I liked uh, Percy Jackson. Yeah, that's a good book. Those were good. And then I liked The Hunger Games. I, was I used to read like like Hatchet. He has a red hat, like Gary Paulson. Hatchet was like seventh grade, I think. Yeah, like that was a book I liked a lot because yeah. there's like that kid that got lost in the woods or whatever. He had to survive. That was pretty hard. What was the name? The kid? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you remember? No, I can't. Brian Ryan, something like that, Brian. maybe? I don't know. Did you guys ever read Ricky Tiki Tabby? <laughs> uh, what? Is that a made-up book, dude? I think I think it's real. I think I read it. Um, I mean, I think that's it. I think we wrap up right there. Is Tristan Income. ever going to get a new car? Income record. Oh, man, that's, that's a great question. So my upgrades are predicated based off of you guys doing more and better. So that's a great question. But to answer that question, we have to ask another question. Are you ever going to do more production? <laughs> are you ever going to do more production? Are you? Yes. And you? Yes. Then yes. The answer is yes. As long as you keep doing more, I'll keep getting better cars. And if you show up and do good next year, I'll get a better car. Have you ever seen that CEO meme? <laughs> good work this year. If you, can. that's what Justin be telling you guys. Good work, Blake. Do it again, and I'll get a new car next week. Is that what happens? That's what he does, dude. He just takes advantage of all of us, absorbs all my wisdom and knowledge, doesn't give me nothing for it. I gave you a hoodie, and you had an autism attack, dude. Well, we can't put that out on <laughs> social media. So.
We were doing good until he dropped the A word. <laughs> and he had a racial inclination as well that we're going to have to try to remove. What is racial inclination? I will dumb it down for you off the podcast. Other than that, another episode of Strip Mall Paycheck Fridays with the boys. All of them making big money, crazy money. Big money this year, big money next year. All we do is big money. If you're tired of your miserable life, let's be honest. If we kind of be just direct with you, like you're miserable right now. You're going to college. You're not going to college. Maybe you're 50 years old or you're 18 years old, just graduated, about to graduate. And you're like, my life sucks. My parents are broke. I'm broke. No one's doing anything that I want to do. I want to make a lot of money. I promise you. Selling life insurance can make you a lot of money. Sales can make you a lot of money. Get into a commission-based position. You don't even got to hit us up. But if you want to, feel free. Delabic.com. Apply on my website. We'll see if you're a good fit. You can work on in any of the 50 states. We'd prefer for you to be in Chicago so you can get this awesome strip mall experience. But you can work anywhere. You can work from Hawaii. You can work from Alaska. You can work from... South Dakota, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, wherever. Sub to the channel if you like what we're posting, if you like what we're doing. Comment all your hate. We love it. I laugh at it. I need it. It's funny to me. So comment all the haters, please. We're probably never going to acknowledge you or respond to you um, because we don't care. We'll probably use your hate as motivation to create more podcasts. Thank you. Have a great day.